and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to film a sort of Halloween-esque tutorial today. I'm not going to be doing gory and horror and all that, but one of my favorite characters of all time is Harry Potter. Uh, call me a dork the inner bookworm in me, but I love Harry Potter and I love J.K. Rowling. So this is my little homage to Harry Potter. I have to do a kind of Gryffindor themed eye makeup look. So without any further ado, let's just get into it. I'm going to prime my skin today using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer for Pore Minimizing. And this is a travel size. I wanted to try this out before I purchased it because I had read some mixed reviews. But I happen to really like it. And I'm going to do something that I rarely ever do. And I, that is, I'm going to put my eye makeup on first. I know it's crazy, right? So not Nicole. But I wanted to try doing the eyes first because we are going to be using some pretty bright but like frosty glittery pigmented colors so to do that I'm gonna grab some good old-fashioned scotch tape and, and let me just like make a mess real quick guys hold on I'm just gonna place my tape here and it's just like a temporary guide you don't have to follow it specifically but it just kind of gives you an idea of where you're going um, and for eyes today, I'm going to be using this Shape Tape by Tarte in Fair Neutral. And this is a very pigmented concealer, but I want to come in here and actually use it on my eyes because I know I'm going to end up using it underneath my eye. And usually when I do my face first, I tend to put... Um, my foundation on and then I put my concealer and I usually do it really big kind of triangle triangular under my eyes and then I go in and put it on my eyelids as well but since we're doing the eyes first we're gonna be super super extra and put this all over our lid and brow bone and on the inner corners of the eye where we know we tend to get really Kind of like dark at least i do i get really dark circles in there and i'm just smoothing this out with my g40 from morphe it's a really nice fluffy brush but it's small so it's kind of like a foundation buffer but just extra small and i'm going to take a beauty blender and just kind of press this over my eyes a little bit of translucent powder my derma blend and back on that g40 just kind of dunk this brush in there and set this a little bit. So for today's look, I want to work with quite a bit of Juvia's Place Colors and also the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. So to get the crease work going, I'm just going to take this really pretty kind of golden burnt orange brown color and it's soft so it still has a warm undertone but it's definitely a soft color and I like to start really soft in my crease on a fluffy brush and then work down to a tapered brush. So we're going to take this back and forth on a BH fluffy brush just going back and forth in the crease and kind of looping it around the edge of the eye here. And remember you have the tape, so you can take it out towards the tape and use it as your guide. But the idea is we want to wing it upward this color and give it a really blown out look. Okay guys, so I went ahead and started doing some of the next step on this eye, but let's go ahead. We're going to take, um, let's see, Sigma E40. I should know this by now because I use it all the time. And we're going to now go into the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place, which, speaking of, they just released the pre-order for the Saharan 2, and you know I jumped on that, so go get you the new one, guys. Pre-order it now. I'm not paid to tell you that. I just love these guys. But anyway, this is the color Staccato, and this is a really pretty bright red shade. So we're going to take this on our E40, and now we're going to start moving this into the crease area. Slightly underneath 
that kind of goldeny brown color but definitely still up high because you don't want it too tapered this color we're going to be doing a darker red really tapered in the socket area so you want to keep this really soft and light you can circle it around the side here and we're going to be cutting our crease so it's okay if you're getting any of this on the actual lid because we're going to cut that out eventually so now we're going to close that palette and go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And if you have this, I'm sure you already know what I'm referring to. Um, we're going to start working with this color Venetian Red and Red Ochre. So we're going to start with the brighter and then we're going to be going into the deepest Red Ochre color. And with this Venetian, you're going to take this on a more tapered brush. This is a Morphe M441 and I'm going to dip that into my Venetian color. These are extremely pigmented and have quite a bit of fallout. So if you want, I would say work slowly first. Don't put too much product on the lid. And this is gonna go really tapered into the actual socket. So you're like almost kind of pushing this into the socket line. And you're kind of holding your brush downward. So this way it really angles this color deep into the socket so that it's going to define it. So now you guys going into that color red ochre on the same brush, the 441, we're going to dip our brush into that color, top it out, and just do the same thing you just did with the Venetian red. And you're going to push this deep into the crease. So yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I have read all of the Harry Potter books. And of course I saw all the movies, the books were better. Um, just my opinion, I love the movies too. I think the first two are probably my favorite because they're more magical and lighthearted and um, they just, I don't know, they're whimsical, fantasy. The others start to get really deep and dark, which I know is the premise of the storyline, but the first two just really remind me a lot of my youth. Going, um, let's see what palette we want to use now. Going back into um, the Nubian palette, there's like some darker browns in here and even like a dark kind of coppery color. So I was thinking of somehow incorporating this coppery color and then this warm brown, maybe mixing the two. So I'm going to take a finer point brush and this is an IT Cosmetics crease brush and it's very tight and tapered and it's um, going to be not quite as flat as the 441 but definitely a rounder brush and I think it's really good for smoking out the outside corner. So taking a mixture of this kind of shimmery copper and this shimmery brown, I'm going to take these two colors now and place them on the outside corner working this kind of like in a seven motion. All right, so once you've built up that crease really good, let's go back in with that super fluffy BH brush and we're just gonna take it clean at this point and just kind of glide this across these shadows and just kind of make sure everything's soft and blended and you're not seeing any harsh lines. Okay guys, so um, recently I ordered a BH Cosmetics set and it was a pink marble brush set and I don't know if you can see it but it is absolutely gorgeous and this is a flat shadow brush or you can use it as a concealer. This is the number 9 brush and I'm going to take the NYX eyeshadow base in 03 and start working this onto my lid to carve out the lid space that I want. And I like to use a smaller flat brush for this just because it's, um, I find it easier to carve out this way. You're working with a smaller space at a time, so it, you're less likely to make mistakes. But basically, I'm just going to go right to the tape with this. I always like to drag down towards my lashes first, and then slowly work it up towards my crease.
And don't forget to utilize that tape, guys, because that's what it's there for. My kids sound like Lord Voldemort in the background whispering because they know mommy's filming. So they're trying to whisper, but they're really just making like a ton of noise. It's crazy. Gotta love kids. Alright guys, so for the lid, we are going to be using a really sparkly gold. And to do that, I want to use, I still cannot pronounce this name, so if you guys know how to say it, Wadabi, Wadabi. Woodabe. It's in the Saharan palette, you guys. It's this really gorgeous gold color right here. Can't pronounce it for the life of me, but that's going on our lid today, you guys. We're going to apply this dampened, and this is going to go on the lid space now where we just kind of cut out the lid. So. and just kind of work slowly with it because you don't want to destroy all this nice work that you did to cut out the lid, but you really want it to follow the shape of the eye. I just love how pigmented and glossy and amazing this color is, you guys. Okay guys, so now is the moment of truth. We're going to peel this tape off and start working on the rest of the eye. So very gently, you're going to peel this tape up. I like to go upward because you always want the skin to be nice and lifted. And the only thing I really want to do as far as underneath the eye is kind of smoke it out a little bit more with some of the same colors. But before we do that, I want to take my LA Girl Glide On Gel Liner and just kind of smoke out the waterline. So we're going to take this and go into our waterline and a little bit on the lower lash line as well. We're going to go in with a pencil brush. This is again my Sigma E30, I believe. And we're going to go back into those darker red colors from the Anastasia palette into that Venetian red and also that red ochre and kind of mix the two together on this brush. And we're going to start pulling this right underneath the lash line. But make sure you don't cover this really pretty winged portion that we have from the cut crease. So just do this really gently and like directly under the lash line. Okay. So we've got those two colors and now we're going to go back into the Saharan palette. And on a softer, more flimsy brush, don't do anything too hard and tapered, go back into that really pretty bright red staccato color. And we're just going to kind of buff out underneath the eye with this. Like smoke it out. So right now the most important thing is just take a fluffy brush or a makeup wipe, anything you have that can kind of remove any type of fallout. You might have some lines from the tape, that's okay. Remember we had that primer on, so that should be really melted into our skin at this point. And basically our skin is ready for foundation. My previous videos, you'll see that I was using the Tarte Double Beauty Gel Hybrid Foundation, so I'm gonna be working with that today. Also gonna to be mixing a little bit of my ColourPop and Shape Tape to do my concealer and my highlighting, and we will meet back to kind of work on the rest of the face together. Okay guys, so I have done something that I never, never really do, and that is a cream contour today. I wanted to be a little bit extra for this because it is Halloween and it's Harry Potter. So to do that, I used the LA Girl Pro Contour Kit in light, and um, it's a little bit warm. The color is not going to lie, but I'm hoping with some of my cooler tones that I have in my contouring powders, I'll be able to kind of tone it. And I like the idea of having a little bit of a warmth in the cream, but then a cooler, more shadowed tone in the powder. So I'm going to blend out now using my Morphe G40, and I'm going to start with the actual cream contour first, and just kind of work upwards along my cheekbone. And then working back towards the hairline. 
going to take this blender now and just kind of go into the areas too on top of my cheekbones where I placed a highlighting cream. I don't know if you guys see the highlighting cream on there. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but I placed a highlighter cream on the top of my cheekbone and also right underneath. So this way it would kind of sharpen up some of the contour lines. I want to set this using my um, Dermablend powder. So I'm going to take my Beauty Blender now and just kind of get this in there and really bake. Because normally when I do my foundation and my concealer first, it's easier to bake while I work on my eyes. So I want to give my concealer some chance to really get in there and bake. Um, while this bakes, okay, normally I would go ahead and start working on the contour with the powders and bronzing and all of that, but because we didn't get to bake our concealer on our face and we started with the eyes first, I want to go in right now and start working on my eyeliner. So using the Maybelline Curvitude Liquid Liner, I want to go in and just kind of start pressing and stamping this liner into my lash line. Kind of really get in there, make it nice and dark. And then following this really pretty wing that we created with the gold and with the tape, I want to follow that shape and kind of create my wing here. I love how liquid eyeliner can just make a whole look come together. You go from like, what is she doing here? Where is this really going? I don't know if I'm feeling this. And then it's like, oh, yes. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put my eyebrows on and I actually went ahead and did my powder contour. If you don't know my powder contour routine, then just refer to my other previous videos. I use the Morphe 9C powder palette and um, I really love it and basically all I did was just kind of trace where I had placed my cream contour with the powder contour and then as far as the areas that were baking I just dusted that off and then I always set that area using my trusty MAC Studio Fix NC35 powder. And now we're going to go ahead and jump into the blush. Um, I'm going to grab another brush from the BH collection. This is the number two. This can be used for powder. It can be used for highlighting. It can be used pretty much for anything. I like it a lot for blush. It's a really soft synthetic brush. So to make this brush, this blush, hello, kind of stand out today, I'm actually going to mix um, Cicado, Jamia, which are both like in the corally family. So we have this like red coral phase and this deep orange. And I'm going to also mix that with my naturally pretty blush from It Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Pores blush. And I'm just going to kind of take all of them and work them on the back of my hand. I'm going to smile and just kind of circle this onto the apples and blend it upward. And so I'm going to soften it just a little bit now using a beauty sponge. Let me get my mirror again. Now to break up the powders that are on the face and also just to kind of um, re-moisturize the skin if you will. Before I put my highlight on today I'm going to use the Master Chrome by Maybelline which is this gorgeous beautiful gold. If you don't have it, get it. But let's break up our skin first with our Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And using a BH highlighting brush, this is the number three. We're going to dip this into our gold Master Chrome. And right at the actual top of the cheekbone now, we're going to start applying this. Now we're going to apply it to the tip of the nose, the lips, and right above the high point of the brow. For today, I'm going to be using a mixture of Lash Sensational from Maybelline and a little bit of the Colossal Big Shot from Makeup by Shayla. And I'm going to be using this mostly on my lower lash line because it's a stiffer brush and I like it for the lower lash line, but I really love the full fan effect on the Lash Sensational to give it a really wispy, dramatic look. 
And then to curl my lashes, I'm going to use my trusty Rose Gold Tweezerman Eyelash Curler. Guys, so now that we have our blush on, we have our contour on, we have our highlight going, the only thing really left to do is the lips. So for the lips today, we're going to be using my trusty NYX lip liner. This is um, a NYX lip liner in the color Hot Red, and I'm going to start out outlining my lips with this because you can get it to a nice sharp point. Then we're going to fill in with Rimmel's Red Diva and top it off with Creeper from ColourPop. Okay, so I have my outline. Now I'm going to go into Red Diva, which is a roll-up crayon style that is like falling apart. I've had this for so long, you guys. It's probably not good anymore. Now Red Diva has more of a red undertone, whereas Hot Red has more of like that light pinky undertone. So just blend them. Okay guys, so this is the completed look and I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am because I love Harry Potter, I love Gryffindor, I love Quidditch, I love it all. I even love this crazy ass Bellatrix with strange hair that I have going on today because it is so humid and so misty and nasty out. But I'm just going to work with it because why the hell not? <laughs> So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. It was a ton of fun for me to create and make for you. Anyway, um, if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up for me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And comment down below. Reach out to me. I love connecting with people, whether I know you um, and I've seen you and met you before, or I've never met you in my life. Reach out to me. Tell me what you guys thought, tell me what you want to see, or just say hi, because I really love it. I love the feedback, and I feel like you can always learn and grow and just evolve. So anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you again really soon.